In this video, we are going to talk about if functionality. If is all about either this or that. True, false, qualified, disqualified, yes, no. For example, if we have a bet in between and I'm going to toss a coin and I say that I choose heads. So if heads comes, I'll win, else I'll lose. So this is if functionality. So technically, if function contains three arguments, logical test, value if true and value if false. I'll explain that to you. But first, let's have a look at the data. We have a data of around 20 employees of a company. Just have a look. If I'll go down by pressing control down arrow. So we have 20 employees of a company and their scores are given, which is level one, level two and level three and total performance is also given. So this company wants to distribute bonuses to these employees on the basis of their total performance. The maximum score a person can get in a single level is 10. So maximum, maximum total could be 30. So they say that let's take a mid number, which is 15. So the condition will be that if total performance is 15 or more than 15, the person will be qualified for the bonus else disqualified for the bonus. So let me show you that. I'm going to start the formula equals to and then the name of the formula which is if. I'll press tab to open the formula and then logical test comma value if true comma value if false. In this whole syntax, we have logical test as the mandatory argument and value if true and value if false are optional argument. And we are also standing on logical test because it is bold right now. So logical test is basically the condition that we need to put it in in this formula. So the condition is if total performance which is G5 in this case is greater than equal to 15 comma now if this condition is true then what I want Excel to show as you can see these both arguments are optional argument if I leave this argument without putting anything in that it will come up with a result either true or false which I do not want I just want to assign a meaningful value to it that is why I'm going to say that if g5 is greater than or equal to 15 then the person should be treated as qualified so I'm gonna say double quotes qualified double quotes as I have explained you earlier in the previous videos that it's a text. So that is why we are going to put it in double quotes, comma, double quotes, disqualified, double quotes. Now we are going to close down the bracket and we'll press enter. So you can see that if the person total score is 15 or more than 15, the person will be treated as qualified. In this case, Ravi is qualified. Now, if I want to see all the results, I'll go to the right bottom corner of the cell and this plus sign will appear. If in any case, this plus sign is not coming in your system, I have already explained that through which option you can enable it in the previous video. So just double click over here and you can see we'll get all the results. So if I go a bit down, I can see that almost everyone is qualified except one person who's disqualified. Thank you.